As you can see is I went and bought me a tripod, went on and did it. I needed that thing so I could be more, I guess, professional-like. So I just emailed Sony and I told them that I have a defected camera. So I'm going to take this back and return it and get a new one because they couldn't help me fix it. So I'm back to vlogging with my tablet until further notice. Does this wall at all looks familiar at all? The wall behind me? I did one of my skits uh, with this wall behind me. So maybe if you've seen one of my skits, you'll be like, oh, that's where he did that skit at, right in that wall. About that time where I need to clean up my apartment. It's looking pretty bad, you know what I'm saying? If I had some company, if y'all, if you came into my apartment right now, you'd think I'm some kind of asshole or something. It gets like that sometimes. I just have to get down to it and, and clean it up. You know what I mean? Gotta watch out for this. Damn. Okay, I, I tripped over the, the, uh, the I tripped over the tripod. I got it's like a person standing right there. You know what I'm saying? I gotta when I walk near it, I gotta say excuse me because it's like standing there in the middle of the room and I, it's shorter than me. It's like four feet and it's just sitting there. So it's like a, a person, a quiet person. When I'm vlogging, I got to make sure I'm looking where I'm going and I got to say I gotta say you know, excuse me, excuse me to a tripod. Unfortunately, my boy, my son, he uh, had a, uh, I guess, a bad day at school. He got in trouble, so I'm going to have to discipline him. Sucks. I hate to discipline my kid. Uh, I hate taking away his game or taking, taking things away from him or, you know, not allowing him to do certain things. Like, he has a football game tomorrow. I'm considering not letting him play in that game because he got in trouble. If you can see my face, it's, I'm, I'm kind of I'm hurt by this because I don't, I don't like the discipline, but I have to. What if I didn't discipline him? What do you think? You think I should not discipline him? I don't want to, but I have to. I don't know. Hey, I remember it was an earthquake. Like a few years ago, it was an earthquake, right? And, you know, we, we, get, we get earthquakes here a lot in California. But we haven't had like a big one, you know, before that one that, that happened. So uh, the earthquake was happening, right? And Mr. my son, he was in the room. And I'm in the living room. And my first thought, run out the house. So I did that, but then I stopped. Like, wait a minute, I got a son now. I can't just leave him in the room. What kind of dad am I to leave the kid in the room? The room is shaking, right? The room's shaking, and I'm standing there confused. I got to go, I can't. Look, listen, I stood there for 10 seconds trying to figure my life out. By then, the earthquake stopped. You know what I'm saying? So I was totally confused. You know, before the kid, before he was born, I'd take it off out the house. Now I got a kid, I can't just take off and leave him. That's not cool, right? I got to go get him, right? Whatever. I, I, I'm going I'm to I'm go get him next time. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. As a parent, we don't forget that we have kids, obviously. If so, something's wrong. We forget that we have a child. But when an earthquake is happening and the ground is shaking, I forgot for a few seconds that I had a kid. Hey, just human, right? I'm a phenomenal dad at the end of the day. Sometimes I drink alcohol. Sometimes I have sex. I say the words like fucking ass sometimes. And I'm scared of earthquakes, all right? I'm human, all right? I, I forgot I had a child for a few seconds. So, so what? If I would have left all the way out the house <laughs> and left him in there, I'm a terrible person. But I didn't leave the house. I got up and I stopped. I thought, wait a minute, I'm a dad now. I can't leave out the house. Ha! I am not terrible. His mom is picking him up from school today, so I'm going to go check him out, talk to him about his dad's school, give him a hug and, you know, let him know that I'm there for him through the good and the bad. You know, trials and trips. Our downs and our highs. I'm there. You know. Uh, try not to get, sometimes I get angry. But try to keep it cool so you can still have a, a, a comfortable relationship with your child. Where they're able to come to you and talk to you about whatever they want to talk to you about. You know what I'm saying? 
that's how I want to keep it. So keep it cool and uh, uh, talk to the boy. He's seven, about to be eight in a few days. Today, I, today I had business. I I drove. They they sent me all the way to man Paris, way out. Remember when I was telling y'all my family lived way, way by the moon, like a thousand miles away? That's where I drove today, to Paris. Way out there. So I, I drove, I had to drive back from there. So I'm taking a break. I'm not, I, I, didn't, I didn't have the energy to keep driving. Go back to the airport in a few hours after I talk to my boy. And that'd be my day, you know? I figure I'd just take out the camera and talk to y'all for a bit. Just in case your favorite TV show wasn't on or your favorite Netflix show isn't on yet, or if you have downtime, maybe you could turn Man vs. Kid on and watch me talk, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to vlog again tomorrow. I'm going to vlog again tomorrow, and I'm going to have my, my normal weekly vlog on Monday. Uh, you know, me and my kid do like a small skit at the beginning of the vlog, so I'll have that on Monday. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, hope everyone's having a good day. Have a good night. It's Friday. Go enjoy yourself. Go out there and drink some alcohol. Parents, go out there and have some sex. Go out there and curse and use words like fucking ass. Go do it. You, you, you're, you're human. You deserve to have fun. These kids are stressing you out sometimes. Go relax. Go get a babysitter. Go outside and, 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 and turn up. Any age. It doesn't matter. From 20, from 20 years old to 58. It don't matter. Go turn up. It's Friday. Oh yeah, I'm a phenomenal dad. I use words like fucking ass. I drink alcohol and have sex sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I think your parents are awesome. No matter what, you're awesome. We have a job besides our daily job. We go to work for money. We have a job at home with our children. We have to discipline them and speak confidence into their souls and make sure they're safe and healthy and everything else, right? Me and you, our parents, we're awesome. Me and you both. Keep on doing a great job. I applaud you. See you guys on Monday. Have a good night.